Hi there! Today I'm going to be making something that I wasn't planning on doing but that I think I'm going to need for a project that I'm making this month. Um, so just to jump right into it, I'm going to be making this petticoat today. Um, I'm going to be making a couple modifications to it just because A, they only had the pattern in a size too small for me and B, it's a little too long because I typically wear dresses that are quite a bit shorter than like the standard 1950s length um, just because I think that it looks better on me. <laughs> so I'm going to be shortening it a couple of inches and also just making it fit me. So I'm going to be making it out of this cotton that I got for I think it was seven dollars total which is awesome. Um, I'm going to be trying to do this in one day. <laughs> we'll see if that actually happens. Would be cool but you know <sighs> it doesn't always happen. So I'm going to just jump right into it and iron this out and get to sewing. Okay, so it has been a couple of hours. Um, I took a lunch break in there and so far I have traced my pattern and adjusted my pattern. So I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so I am going to be doing view B of this, kind of. Um, so there's this panel, well you can't see it. You're supposed to add this panel of a like six inch eyelet lace to the bottom, but I figured out that if I don't do that, then it's actually the perfect length without making any adjustment to the tiers themselves to go under pretty much all of the dresses and skirts that I've made so far. Because most of them are somewhere in the realm of like 30, like 25 to 30 inches long. And this will be 22, which will be, I think, just short enough to not show underneath too much. So what I've done, let's move that is I have adjusted all of the pattern pieces so that they will fit me because this pattern was a good couple of inches too small. <laughs> More than a couple. So I've just basically added, so I've traced each piece. Um, this one's probably a good example. So I've traced out each piece onto pattern paper and then just added a little bit at whichever points make the most sense. Um, like I've added some to the center front on the yoke pieces and then a little to each side. Um, and I think that this will fit me really well. I'm not gonna do a mock-up because I don't feel like it and this fabric was super cheap so it'll be easy to adjust and I won't feel bad. Plus like if I do need to adjust it and it doesn't turn out super great, it's going under stuff anyway. So like it's not a huge deal. Um, but so I've adjusted all of these, um, the lengths were all actually fine, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out my fabric. So once I finished cutting out my fabric, I overlocked the edges that wouldn't be trapped in the waistband. And then pinned and stitched the right side seam together. Next, I adjusted the stitch length on my sewing machine and put in two rows of gathering stitches. And just, you know, pulled the threads. <laughs> I gathered the first tier 
pinned it to the yoke of the skirt and stitch it together. Okay, time to attach the waistband. It's all pinned on. Such a cute print. Once the waistband was attached, I trimmed the seam allowance inside and then hand stitched it down, which I did not film, but I've done it before on the channel with <laughs> a couple of different projects, so you can watch one of those. Okay, so I didn't finish it last night. Um, <laughs> I got pretty far though. We've got, we've got a, uh, that. So, <laughs> uh, I have to still, I've sewn all of the pieces of the bottom tier together. I still have to hem it and attach it, well hem it and then gather it and attach it to the rest of the skirt. So I did a rolled hem um, because it was the least amount of work and also, you know, decreased the length the least amount as well. This has just looked so nice. Okay, now I just have to gather the top edge and attach it to the rest of the petticoat and I'll be done. Can't forget the hook and eyes though. <laughs> I did the top ones the night before and then took a couple of minutes just to quickly add the other ones. And then it was done. Okay, so I did it. Um, it took me, let's see here, I started at 1.30 on Saturday, stopped at like, nine with a couple of meal breaks in there so that was probably about like six hours of work and then after that um i took a break and then i started the next day and probably only took about an hour to finish what was left no no don't bite so i would say it probably took about seven hours to make the petticoat okay no we're not doing that so i would say it took about like probably seven hours to make the petticoat um maybe eight i would say the slowest part for me was probably the gathering <laughs> um hemming was really fast since i did a rolled hem um i don't know if that was what you're supposed to do in the instructions i kind of just stopped reading them after the first like three steps <laughs> so it turned out really good though it's a little tight right now but it won't be um plus i was wearing it over my clothes and it will be under my clothes next time. So I'm happy with how it turned out. I think it's really cute. I actually fell so much in love with the fabric that I'm gonna get more of it. And I think I'm gonna make myself probably a dress in spring or summer out of it. But um, it is going to be perfect for my next project, which is going to be upcoming in the next couple of weeks. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but you will see. I can't wait to have you back in my craft room with me and I will see you then. Bye.